In this video, we'll go over the fundamentals of Paradigm and how to create your first SIM. To get started, jump into SOPS, then drop down a Paradigm Solver node. There are three inputs on the Solver node. The first is for source VDPs, the second is for source shapes, and the third is for source particles. Next, let's drop down a source shape node. We'll go into the source tab and change it to emit particles, and then set it to only source in the first frame. If we play back, we can see gravity affecting the simulation. Then, let's create a second source shape to create a collider. Let's change it to collider, and then invert it so it acts like a container or max bounds. Now, if we play back, we'll see the fluid interact with the container. Let's try to manipulate it with another source shape. Let's have the source shape not activate new voxels and only affect existing voxel velocities. If we go to the force tab, we can change it to an omnidirectional type and make the magnitude stronger and also negative so it attracts fluid towards it. Then we'll move this around and pick up some fluid. Then we can deactivate the source shape and let it drop down and create a splash. It's very easy to manipulate simulations with custom velocities. Now for our next example, let's look at sourcing with VDBs and points. Here we have a squab that's been converted to points. We connect source points to the third input of the solver. I'll also add a switch node here and have it disable after a certain frame. Next, let's create a collider with VDBs. I'll take these pre-created shapes and use the VDB from Polygons node to convert them to an SDF VDB. I'll set the resolution to match the solvers, set it to fill interior, and also name it the collider so it's recognized by the solver. Finally, we plug it into the first input. When we play back, we can see the fluid is interacting with the VDBs. I hope this helps you get started with using Paradigm for liquid simulations. If you'd like, you can find this example file in the documentation.